Voice as smooth as bourbon and as jagged as heartache, coupled with a rapping ability that hits you like a freight train, Sky Wonder's talent is immediately obvious and elegantly balances guttural street influences with the finesse of classical musical forms. Since entering the music industry, Sky has been relentless in the pursuit of her dreams and she joins us today to share her latest music. Let's look back on her debut single that caught the attention of music lovers across the country. To a thing without paying a dime. Fallen for a man spoken for And I don't even care That what I'm feeling is wrong Loving you is so easy It's so easy It's so easy It's so easy, baby Dangerously easy Ah, oh, so I mean, what a voice Welcome to Afternoon Express. Thank you for having me. Julie. So good to have you here. Sky Wonder. I mean, you just sound like a star. So obviously <laughs> it was destined. Yeah. So you grew up in Chesterville. What was yes. that like? Oh, it was, it was great. I grew up in a township. It's not that yeah. big. You literally know everyone in every street. Yeah. It's beautiful growing up in the streets, playing, getting dirty. And I couldn't have asked for a better childhood. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone in your family sang, so I can yes. imagine it was a very, <laughs> a very uh, fun, loud. Like, loud home. <laughs> fun as well. Yes, you'd have someone starting a song in the kitchen, then someone yeah. would join in the dining room, then eventually the entire house is singing. Oh. And when I was growing up, I had a fear of lightning. So every really? time when the weather was bad, my grandmother would just say, come, let's sing. And then I'd forget oh, because wow. it was bad. I have this thing of if, if I see it with my eyes, it's going to blind me, Yeah, <laughs> which it's not. But uh, the music helped me get through a lot of things. Yeah. Yes. Do you think that overcome, helped you overcome other fears in your life as well? Of course. Like what? It's like my safe place Wh when the world is just going in a direction that isn't suitable for me at that time. Yeah. I know when I listen to my music or when I start writing, when I come up with new melodies, it makes me the happiest person on earth. Yeah. yeah. I recently, well, recently, like the end of last year, started uh, taking up meditation mm. just because, you know, when your life is chaos or when mm. you suffer from stress a lot, you need something to, like, calm you. Mm. So I can imagine that writing music is probably like your meditation. Yes, it definitely So what do you is. write about? What kind of uh, themes challenges you? Well, I'm a very emotional person, mm. so I mostly talk about love, the different yeah. aspects of it, a heartbreak, finding new love, wishing you could have a lover come back, Love. The fact that there's not a lot of love in the world anymore. Yeah. Um, I talk about social ills because of the raps. Uh, I talk about a lot of things, but it's mainly based on love. Yeah, yes. love is everything. It is. And do you think that, a re that musicians, and especially good musicians, mm. have to go through an element of pain in order to create? So it's almost like pain is beautiful in we a way. We draw from that, yes. Yeah. And, and this is sad because then we always end up depressed. Most <laughs> people that are depressed are yeah. artists yeah. because we draw from our pain, but it doesn't heal us. Yeah. Instead, other people get healed from our experiences. It's true. So... I, I believe in that a lot because I, I, I found myself in a place where I was happy and I couldn't write. Really? I couldn't come up with anything. Like Alanis Morissette, when she was miserable, she did the best album ever. When she understand? was happy, like, there goes the music. You know? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it is so true. So I... Every now and then I need something to just shake me off balance so I can come up. <laughs> so you welcome the pain. Yes. That's why wow. all people always say, oh, this guy is so dramatic. Yeah. I need that drama in yeah. my life because it fuels my writing. Yeah. Yes. That's incredible. But you've had such a tumultuous career, I suppose, because I think uh, Durban, I th suppose, is quite difficult to, to bust out of in the music scene because it's not such a big city like mm. it is in Joburg. Yes. But also I think a lot of men let you down mm. in terms of promising you things, and yes. what did that story look like and how did you stay true to yourself? Um, it wasn't even that difficult for me. Yeah. The only thing that would break my heart is that, wait, now I have to take ten steps back, having taken yeah. five forward. Yeah, I get that. So it would break my heart, but I've never, like for me, I've never had a choice. I, I've never had a choice of giving up. 
Yeah. If this isn't working, we try another way. Yeah. If this person is telling me this, I'll go to someone else. Yeah. And it's sad that I haven't come across a female producer. Otherwise, I just feel like a lot of things wouldn't have happened. Can I tell you, if I could produce, that would, if, like, if I had a musical brand, that would be the one thing I'd want to do. Yeah. Because I know I've got an ear for music. music. I just don't know, have the skills for it, yeah. which is so sad because I think it's remarkable. You've got to be a bit of a genius to make music. Yes, it's, to a certain extent. Yeah. yeah. And you've got to be a bit crazy. Well, not a bit, but you need a certain <laughs> level of looniness yeah. to you because you need to tap into a certain place within you where yeah. it's, you're not afraid of your ideas yeah you know sometimes but that's not crazy to me i find that beautiful i think that's it's our to be able to look into yourself like yes, that because the rest of the world will be like oh she's crazy but you're thinking this is me yeah I think and it's i'm beautiful. happy that way and and why should we all be normal? Yeah. Say no to normal. Exactly. <laughs> no, totally. Normal is so boring. Is. So now what kind of, because you also cross different genres in your yes. music. So you dabble in a bit of jazz mm -hmm. and then the, love the hip hop. You can <laughs> rap as well. Yes. I rap, but it's usually mm. late at night. Okay, <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> by myself um, in the shower. <laughs> yeah, the hip hop came into my life. I'm, uh, I was 10. Yeah. The first song that I heard that made sense to me was Ready or Not. Here I come. And you can hide. Gotta find you. And take it slowly. Ow! Yes. <laughs> so that was I me. Love that song. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, Lauren Hill is female. And she yeah. raps. And it's not just ordinary raps. She's good. She is so good. So I'm like, if she can, I can't. Exactly. And the other thing is, at that point in my life, I was just like, Whatever men can do, we can do too. Absolutely. So it was more of a ego type thing. Yeah. Only to find that I actually love hip hop. Yeah. And I enjoyed it so much. And it's exposed me to so many things. Yeah. And um, I always say there's two sides to me. There's Nontlem Shongo and the Sky Wonder. Yeah. Nontlem Shongo focuses on the singing. Oh. And Uskai Wanda is deep in the streets. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so I admit to having multiple personalities. Yeah. And it's that's working fine. for me. That's good. <laughs> I don't call it multiple personalities. I call you multifaceted. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so then the jazz element as well. Like, is that, I mean, you'd probably get more gigs from that. Or, or why the yes, two? The or do you need the two f to fill you? Yes. The hip hop fulfills my ego. Yeah. The jazz pays my bills yeah. because then I get to do corporate gigs and stuff yeah. like that. But I'm trying to move away from that because I just want to sell my brand as is. Because yes. I've been doing a lot of covers, so I'm trying to move away from that. Yeah. And then also not trying to rap as much as I did before, uh, not because of age or anything, but I think there's a certain part of me that's gotten bored a bit. Yeah, but age is, you know, I can't bear ageism because I feel like it's such a waste of time. Yeah. Your age is only the amount of time that the world has enjoyed you for. Yes. And if you look at someone like Missy Elliott, like I want her to have a new album. She, Please, just, dropped, she just dropped an, an album a few days ago. Oh, I'm obsessed with her. Yeah, so, so age means nothing. So nothing. keep on doing what makes your soul and happy. And it's sad because people age. will tell you, you don't have a lot of years in the industry. Like how? Miriam Makeba. Yeah. You know, what are yeah. you talking about? So yeah, it's basically that. What makes you happy? <laughs> it's a hard question. I don't it? think anyone's ever asked me that. What makes me happy? There has to be a lot of laughing. Yeah. Um, there has to be a, a good energy with people that are vibing, like loving each other. Mm. I hate PhD and this one thinking they're better than that one. I like being in a chilled environment, preferably at home with two or three friends, yeah. sipping on whatever we're sipping on. Popcorn, movies, that's my happy place. Yeah. I don't really like going out to uh, like clubs and stuff like that. It's, I don't know, it's just not yeah. me. I, I'm a home. Body. And you've got two babies, so it's of easier to course. stay at home. It's harder to go out to the clubs when you've got the yeah. kids. <laughs> I mean, right now with uh, the song that we did with DJ Stello, yeah. I've gotten the opportunity to be like going to places that I haven't even been to. Yeah. And we are traveling a lot. Yeah. So I'm going to be tired from traveling. Then I come home to Mercedes. And then life gets real. Is your daughter Mercedes? Yes. 
What a great name. <laughs> <laughs> and she's beautiful. My mother begs to differ. When I had Merck at the hospital, they were asking me to fill details. And my mother didn't even want to write the name Mercedes. I was in the toilet. When I come back, she's written a different name. I'm like, how? We've planned this. I told you this That's is the so name funny. I want. She's like, I, I don't understand. <laughs> what was the name your mom had? <laughs> well, we went with the Zulu name, which is Letuktula. Yeah. That's the name that she picked. I'd yeah. picked something else, <laughs> okay. which I won't mention now, but mom won. <laughs> and then the Mercedes one, she's like, nope. I'm like, wait, <laughs> this is about me. Yeah. I, That's your child. <laughs> I went through the nine months, <laughs> you know, and then a the few hours of, you know, so I get to name my child. So yeah. we just decided, okay, we keep Let's Look Tula yeah. and we keep Mercedes. Yeah, <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You Thank are you so absolutely magic. Thank stay you. on the couch because we're going to be back in a little while. Nice. So now you stay right there as well because after the break, Sky Wonder delivers a performance of a lifetime. Plus we make flavorful, cheesy, smoky toasties with Chef Nwabisa.